Work it, make it, do it Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger Work it, harder, make it, do it That don't kill me Can only make me stronger I need you to hurry up now Cause I can't wait much longer I know I got to be right now Cause I can't get much stronger Man, I've been waiting all night now That's how long I've been on ya Hi, I'm Dr. Gervais And what we're talking about today is A simple setup for diagnostic photography, dental photography, um, for clinical, not portrait, but clinical. Um, we're going to be talking about retractors, mirrors, what kind of shot to take. And our best guide is the um, ACD photographic documentation and evaluation that we have. So we're going to be uh, talking about these photos and we're going to talk about each section and what kind of positioning, what kind of retraction that we're going to be needing. So the material that we'll be needing is actually a mirror. What we do is wrap it up in a 4x4 gauze and we keep it in the, uh, in the towel warmer. Or you can uh, use hot water, place that on a hot water bowl and until it gets a little warm. So that will take care of the patient's uh, fogging the mirror. We have retractor. I like the universal, and I, we almost always use the large side for retractors. That is for a black background. You can either do that in Keynote, or you can actually use the black background to uh, hide the tongue and the palate and make it make it dark so only the teeth will show up, which I will show you later. Okay, so the first shots we're going to take is our portrait shot for the patient. Again, this is not a studio shot. This is just for diagnostic. What we do in our office and in the clinic as well, which I'll tell you, uh, what we do, we have a black background. We usually use this patients with light hair, uh, with blonde hair. We use a black background because it blends into the wall. For patients with darker hair, we use the uh, just the white wall that we have. Now in the clinic, we have a blue wall, which is great. The problem with that is the, it, the flash makes it really shiny. And if you look at some of your photos, they, you can see the flash coming through. So what I do, I take my shots in an angle in the clinic. Now the key also is to get rid of the bib. You don't want the bib in a portrait shot. It just doesn't look that great. So if you look at the, um, our guide, you will see the shot, which is um, 1 by 15 and I'll tell you what they are according to your to your camera so basically you want the face in the shot the entire face so these are the shots that I do take and usually I put my f-stop lower and it's all, all automatically set so the flash will will go so what the first shot what I'll do is I have the patient just lick their lips say M and open their mouth without any expression and breathe through their mouth so this is a lip at rest which has to do with our smile design which we want to see how much teeth we see at rest so Aileen go ahead and lick your lips say M and just open your mouth and breathe through your mouth so it's no expression kind of shot and I usually put this on autofocus so we take the shot Now she has dark hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, show you the difference between why we do dark hair and light hair. Go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, one more time. Say M, and open your mouth without any expressions. Great. And you can see the difference. Now their face is gonna be shiny again. This is not a studio shot. And um, the next shot I have is same thing at rest, and I have the patient turn and look to the right. Material. Next shot is a is a smile shot. Now I don't tell patients to smile because it's hard for somebody to smile on command. So I'll tell them to laugh, or I really try to make them laugh. And the best way to do is I just go, go ahead and laugh. Ha ha! 
and we try to get that same shot one more time and I usually take a couple which will take the best one out of it so I'll have the patient go ahead and sit down now it's really important for you to be comfortable you don't want to have pain or kind of break your back taking these shots so the key thing is to have your leg rest on the chair so when you do that you don't put so much strain on your back we're gonna put the chair down a little bit and have a nice angle and you can always do this uh, Jedi mind trick with your hand that you can go left and right and the patients will follow you so the first shot is again lip at rest I will put it at the correct F stop and this is already programmed and every camera is different but if we're taking photos and with this in the clinic well, I'll show you how to do that so the first shot again your leg your leg resting against a chair so you don't um, break your back so go ahead and lick your lips again and just open without any expressions and try to frame the entire lip if you look at the photos and they have a smile they don't have a lip at rest but it's okay try to get the commissure of the lips in your in your photo you don't want to crop later you can it's absolutely we, we can and we will do that most of the time but try to crop the photo exactly where it is from lip corner of the lip to the corner of the lip so go ahead and open your mouth without any expressions open a little bit more <clears throat> great so again you can always crop those later the next shot is a smile shot same thing but I have the patient laugh go ahead and big laugh <laughs> <laughs> okay then you want to see the side shots these shots are important because a lot of times when the patients come in and they talk about I want to I, I don't like my smile etc they rarely see their side shot you just can't do that they they look in the mirror they see number eight nine ten seven six and eleven but they don't see the premolars and the molars sometimes so it's important to show them what their side looks like and again try to frame that within the uh, within the frame of the photo try to uh, crop it within the frame of the photo so go ahead and turn that way for the side shots what we can do to get a black background you just can have this lean over here just hold on to that right there you usually have an assistant she happens to be my assistant <laughs> so yeah turn that way turn to the right a little bit and as you can see they have number 11 in the shot as well so you want to get number 11 in, in the shot turn to the right slightly and always tell the turn the patient to the, turn to the right slightly and a big laugh <laughs> now if you look at the shot a little bit 11 is, is on there for this side you do the same thing you could walk around the patient and do it or you can have the patient turn all the way to the right big smile and you want to get number 11 and there you go excellent now for the retracted shots this is sometimes it's difficult to get the retractors inside patient's mouth so what I do I actually let the patients help me with it we almost always use the large side again lean your leg on the on the chair so it's comfortable so you tell the patient to just relax and you just grab the lips grab the lips I usually have the patient hold these and you want to make a tunnel when you say you want to make a tunnel so you can see everything so that's perfect so um, I do a little bit differently than the book um, I also do patients biting down they have them open but I have them both open and biting down so I have a patient bite down on all the teeth bite down on your back teeth and again try to crop the photo crop the teeth inside your photo
For the next shot, I'm going to have the patient, you actually ask them, relax the left side and stretch the right side as much as you can. Usually our assistants, they're kind of afraid to hurt the patient. They don't want to stretch. If you tell the patient, they'll, they'll go out of your way to help you. So you can get everything up to the second molar this way. And take your shot. In this kind of shot, I do manual and I'll let the distance uh, do the focusing. Turn to the right, relax this side, stretch this side. Go ahead and do this. There you go. Now I can see again, I can see all the way to the molars. Now for the next shot, I have to do the same thing that the book says. So I have them open a little bit until I see the incisal edges. Go ahead and make a tunnel again, stretch, and open a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more so I can see the molars separating. A little bit more right there. Again, you want to even this out. You can help the patients out. And crop your photo into the frame and take it. Now these two shots are the most important. The side views when they're opening. Turn that way, relax this side, stretch this as much as you can, open wide, a little bit wider, a little bit wider, keep going, keep going, until you see the molar. Now with this shot, you see the occlusal scheme of the molars in comparison to the anteriors. which is really important in when you're setting up your case. Open again, a little bit more, until you see the molars separate, and you take your shot. Now, for the occlusal shots, which is pretty important, what you do, you take the warm mirror, I usually take the large side. It's pretty easy to get the large side inside the patient's mouth. Um, go ahead and open. And if it's not, just press on the right side and get it in. Open wide. Now this is, uh, it cooled down a little bit. So since, the, um, since we were taking the photos, our mirror that we had in the towel warmer got, uh, got cool. Uh, it cooled down and uh, she was fogging up the mirror. So usually what we do, uh, we wait until, uh, until it's time to take the occlusal shots and then we get the mirror from the uh, oven, from the towel warmer. But in this case, this is great. So I want everybody to see this. You can really do this with a hot water. If you pour hot water in a bowl and just put the mirror, you don't have to dip it in. Just put the mirror on top of it. Just let that sit there and it will heat it up and it will take care of the, uh, the fogginess that the patients create by, their, by them breathing. So I'm going to take it away, wipe it. And again, we keep it in the 4x4. Four four. It's very important not to scratch these mirrors um, because you want to keep these for a long time. Okay. So we ask the patient to retract the lips again. So what you want to do, if you look at the photo, they are getting the facial of eight and nine. So if you're getting the facials of the incisors, that's a good shot. You fit that back in. Now Aileen happens to have veneers that we are going to replace. Turn this way for me. Now I can definitely see the facials of the front teeth. Right, and sometimes what you can do, if you're not getting the molars, just tilt it a little bit, focus on the molars, and come in and out, and take the shot. Molars. 
Now for the lowers, you ask the patient to put their chin way up. Go ahead and open. Make a tunnel again. Try to put your tongue behind the mirror. There you go. <laughs> now also, you know what else? This is important. Instead of saying uncover the lower teeth, you say let me see the lower teeth with that while you're staying open. And you, let's actually, there we go. Now it's all fogged up again. <laughs> like life, life is sometimes fogged up. And you take the shot. Now, there's uh, one more shot if you want to get a little fancy. It's the black drop, backdrop of uh, the front teeth. So go ahead and retract your teeth again. So what I do, I just put this in and just look at it. Have the patient close a little bit. Go ahead and close. Turn this way. You don't need to bite down and just take the shot with the black. And you can do the same thing with the lowers. Go ahead and open. Close a little bit and retract the lowers. Show me the lower teeth. And that gives you a nice shot of the lower. And you can always crop these as well. Okay, so hope everybody um, understood and got this. Most of the stuff is in this booklet. There's also what to do and what not to do, some of the mistakes, and uh, we get to practice this in the clinic. Thank you so much. Thank you.